Do you ever fear that you will outlive your retirement money? If the answer is yes, well, first off, you're not alone. The second thing is that by the end of this video, I will have given you five tips so that you can be more aware of how you may be positioned to ensure that you don't run out of money in retirement. My name is Regan Schiller, and I am the host of Your Canadian Retirement Specialist, a channel that is dedicated to providing Canadians with valuable content around all things retirement planning related. If you like this episode and you'd like to be notified of upcoming episodes, click the bell below and get the notifications. As soon as new content is posted, you will know. Saving for retirement can feel like a, a fundraising for a mystery event. You know you'll need to pay for a venue and provide refreshments, except you have no idea when the event will happen, how long it will run for, and how much food and drinks you will need to provide. The most common feeling pre-retires feel is the foreboding sense that they will not have enough money saved to last the remainder of their lives. We all have a target age in our minds for when we would like to retire, but sometimes circumstances decide for us. An unexpected layoff from our employer or a sudden illness can cause us to reevaluate retirement or maybe it'll become earlier than what you had planned. And then on the other side, economic downturns or unlucky investments can make us feel we have not saved enough for retirement and therefore cannot start living off our savings quite yet. Worrying about finances is not a stressor one can shake off easily, but a solid plan and expert advice can help remedy the feelings of financial insecurity. The best way to start is by having a conversation with a private wealth management team or advisor. Become informed can help calm your fears and put you on a clear path to retirement security. So step one, paint a picture for your retirement. It is easier to make saving goals when your picture, your retirement aspirations are clear. Taking the opportunity to write down what your ideal retirement life looks like can help you build a plan. You can answer a series of questions for yourself, such as, will you consider downsizing your home? Will you retire fully or continue to work part-time? Do you have any health concerns? Do you plan to travel? And so on and so on. Once you've imagined your dream retirement scenario, you can look at your current living expenses and track your monthly budget. Knowing your financial needs and how your retirement will change or maintain your current lifestyle will help you determine a savings goal. If you work with a CFP professional who has access to advanced digital tools to help you make projections for your necessary expenses and potentially even some you may not have considered. Step two, set a goal with some wiggle room. Nobody has a crystal ball, which is why when you create a plan, you need to include potential derailments. It's important to explore alternative scenarios such as what your financial targets would be if you decide to work a little longer or retire a few years earlier. The projections made with a wealth advisor will anticipate these needs, such as what you might require if your health requires extra spending. The best strategy to ensure you have enough money throughout your retirement, no matter the circumstance, is to set a goal with a bit of wiggle room. How big should your cushion be? Well, if you're working with a certified financial planner professional who has access to really good technology, they're gonna be able to help answer that question and provide the answers. The third step, evaluate your investment portfolio. Reviewing your investments portfolio is a smart annual routine. You may find there are new opportunities aligned with your risk profile that you can use to your advantage. It's also a great idea to thoroughly analyze your investments 10 to eight years before your target retirement age. As your retirement future is in sight, you might want to consider adjusting your regular budget to free up more funds for investments. Another option might be to shift some investments into RSPs or TFSA accounts. Leave a comment below around your questions about income planning for retirement, and I'll do my best to answer them in an upcoming video. As well, check out this video that I created called TFSAs Explained to see how you can use and maximize your TFSA for your retirement plan and your estate plan. And if you wanna get started right away, check out the video description below and watch my masterclass on retirement planning. And as well, you're gonna have an opportunity there to apply to become a client. So the fourth step, assess your tax savings accounts. So let's suppose you've been taking advantage of your savings offered by the tax-free savings account and 
the registered retirement savings plan. So tax-free savings accounts and RRSPs. So RRSPs defer your tax payments to the time you withdraw the money, saving you money as you invest. However, your withdrawals count towards income in your retirement. If you have a higher retirement income, it may result in the government clawing back other retirement benefits such as old age security benefits and government pension payments. In that case, you might want to discuss your withdrawal strategy with your retirement financial advisor. The best strategy for you will depend on where you have your money invested. Withdrawing from your accounts on a rotation might save you more money in the long run than concentrating on one account at a time. Working with a CFP professional, they should be able to calculate different scenarios to help you find the strategy that stretches your money the furthest. Step five, explore putting off your CPP payments. For some individuals, the age they retire is not entirely their choice. Health issues, injuries may prevent some Canadians from choosing when to retire. But if you're reasonably healthy and capable of working, you might want to consider having a source of income until you reach at least 65. If you put off collecting CPP beyond the age of 65, the government will increase your payments by 8.4% per year until you reach the age of 70, when you are required to be collecting. That can make a meaningful difference in your monthly income if you are willing and able to delay. On the other end of the timeline, your monthly payments will be lower when you withdraw CPP payments early, before the age of 65. Lower government contributions can harm how far your other assets and investments will reach. Now, if you'd like to have an assessment done to provide you with more clarity and awareness around how well positioned you are against the fear of running out of money in your retirement, please click the link below to check out my masterclass on retirement planning. This is going to give you an in-depth look into our planning process as well. You'll have an opportunity to apply to become a client. Also, if you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends, family, colleagues, or anyone that you think would find value in this. And once again, thank you for watching your Canadian retirement specialist.